What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We have another one for you. We have the Tommy Rowe versus the reigning, defending, undisputed, uh, I was about to say Zodiac champion, but YCS champion, a little more prestigious. Yeah, just a YCS champ. <laughs> yeah, ARG, YCS, you know, uh, won both of those this year. And, and uh, on commentary with me is Zodiac's own CJ Kraus and okay. Justin Delhan. What's up, guys? Listen to Goo right now. He's dropping that uh, auto top. That, that, that tater top. Did you see how quickly he played it, too? Like, he's not wasting any time. He was like, yo, you got Max C. He, <laughs> he, he's been waiting for six minutes. He's just been steaming, you know, like. He, he, he actually play. knew his hand before he started the game. So is is that, do you, do you want to play a lure before you mill? I, I don't know, but it seemed to work out. Uh, look, I like how, look, look at the pace Jake's playing at. It's yeah, like I have like actually not goal. seen this on DN. We are, it's like watching a speed match on YouTube. Yeah, it was like speed chess. He literally could play this in his sleep, I guarantee it. I believe he actually knows what he's doing. He didn't open a BA to discard? Did he actually yeah. search the fog blade? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Right? Yeah. Jesus, he he's so fast. Fun. <laughs> What's up? Good luck. Have fun. Okay, so they thought it's talking right now to Tommy Rowe <laughs> after he's been kept waiting. Uh, That's damn. Good enough time to talk and do all the speed Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. I think mean, <laughs> yeah. it's the biggest turn Yu Gi Oh! we've ever seen on uh, Zodiac Channel. And here's an abductor to three back rows. Alright, this is fun. I three like back rows unusual for uh, BA deck, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, I, we saw him saw him strike though. True. So he has one fog blade set that we know of. He could have yeah. drawn multiple, but it's My likely. Guess is, it's like he might have twin twister with like uh, fog blade and the strike, but who knows? So this is interesting. He's not going to have any magician effects from his scale, with abductor stuck there. So he, unless he has a terraforming iris play, better hope to get there. Because that's a big commitment putting the uh, abductor over there. But if, I mean, I presume he's going to get there with the three searches. But it's still digging the three back rows and one monster negation is not fun. I'm gonna call the, the, the far left. Is, oh, this is the one problem with pendulums is like, sometimes whether there's six back row, two back row, no back row, you only have one decision and it's do you a have pendulum. To go in. Like that's the problem. Like, you, that's the only thing like voluntarily, you have to like drop it into it and hope for no strike sometimes. Exactly. It's not like you can't all, you can always play around stuff. It's like, <laughs> well, this is my hand. Jake just linked to Gaiazzo. I'm, I'm loading it for the stream to see. A team wreck. Are you Jake Finney? Yeah. Is your real name Jake? Yeah. You're fucking fake Jake D. Finney. <laughs> As DN is called Jake D. Finney. Plus his real name is Jacob. Well, that was broken. One minute. I'm going to find team wreck. Team. <laughs> that is the Jake D. Yo, Finney. Yo, he asked here. in the watchers chat. He said, is this Jake Finney? And then Cam says, no, it's an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, wow, he opened pretty good, actually. He's got a. Oh yeah, he'll be able to pop off the abductor after getting the search. Well, he's gonna get get rid of one back row, so that's good. Right, so yeah, but the way he's doing it. But I mean, one like one into three is never like an ideal. I situation. mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it's good. I'm saying it, it's it's helpful. Again, the far left is a fog blade. Oh wow. <laughs> now that's bad okay. that he had to play the odd eyes. Yeah. I don't think he had to. I think he just. Yeah, I thought he could just play one of his magicians. Oh, <laughs> twin twisters. But yeah. he could, he's gonna uh, hit the iris and abductor. And the abductor, yeah. Well, well, I was right well, on one of my reads. What I'm confused is that he didn't um, like because he has the two magicians' hand to get rid of another back. He's gonna show him strike and fog blade here. Pack him up. Pack him up this though. is over. <laughs> the odd eyes is still there, right? No, no, he targeted it for the pop. I'm guessing. Yeah, but oh, right, it right, just right. it's just cost to target it. It's odd eyes would be there. You're right. You're right. The odd eyes should still be there. Yeah. It's Tommy Rowe, not Tommy Williams, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's Tommy Williams. My bad. My bad. Jesus. Oh my God. Well, that we odd eyes should still probably be catch there. that. Should probably catch the odd eyes before. Yeah. Luckily, he knew all these cards already, but um, I was still trying to catch the odd eyes while you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we. And this guy, just, some guy just told me he loves our content and loves the commentary more than anything. He's a liar. Yeah. <laughs> that, sounds like, that sounds like Robbie Cole just messaged you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm calling the far left is the fog blade. Yes, he's hitting the right like I would. 
Go, like, Tommy, go. I'm so confused how he got the... Yeah, mission. this is like... To Tommy's like doing a whole bunch of stuff he can't be doing. Oh, man. Oh, no. Yeah, the odd eyes is supposed to still be yeah. there. J Put your look, boozy dragon Jake back. Jake is actually the savage, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah look, Tommy, uh, Sky Iris doesn't pop for cause. And can we also yeah. just uh, acknowledge that Dragon Pit Magician can't discard a summoner's art to pop a back row? Oh, I didn't catch that. I was too much worried about the Odd Eyes Pendulum. Just <laughs> <his, laughs> mega cheating. No, no. Right oh my gosh. Poor Tommy. I'm sorry, Tommy. <laughs> pendulum summon a Kieran and make everything better. Tommy, did you just like see the last video Aaron did and like try to guess what our deck was and then just went with it? Or... Dude, what? <laughs> what the hell is going on? I don't even know why he played the audio. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got a message, Tom, here. This is great to watch. Can anyone explain why he played the odd eyes and not just played one of his two magicians? I don't know, because it would have been a better value. He could've yeah, he would have got the... He, and the Twin Twister, the, if it's there, can't affect your play. Yeah, because you, then you still could have pitched. Yeah, just you, still, you just lose the Sky Iris. And you, well, you would have lost a Doctor 2, but the same thing would have happened except if you can now pop a back row freely. Yeah, but now yeah, he can't. What I what I mean is like whether or not you okay, yeah. anyways th this just this all went downhill really quickly. <laughs> There's the scoop phase button. He still could have like pendulum summoned an oaf and like tried to do stuff. Yeah, yeah was, well you could have at least something, you could have forced him to that. see it. You could it could have it could have foreseeably been like two fog blades. It could have been two fog blades. Okay, but and, I mean. Especially if he had access to Kieran, because he still has a proper skill, and he, if he has Kieran in hand, he's good. If he's, if he could be scooping because he's embarrassed at this point, because I just explained it to him, and he's be, being called things like, you know, I can see, I don't know, I yeah. see both sides here. Isn't this, isn't this the time we're supposed to say something about some sort of company? Uh, really thank you, happy. Troll and Toad, for helping us out, <laughs> and please don't bust out our kneecaps, jobber. <laughs> I just don't want to anger the powers that be. I don't know if this is going up on YouTube, though. <laughs> it should. I think it should because of that game one. It was beautiful. And the savagery in the in the chat between Finney and uh, Ro. Yeah, J Jake was just going in on... Yeah, we opened up Ductor Upstart. Broken. Nice, nice. The one-ups. Then activate oh, Painful sorry. Decision. Oh, he's not playing Painful Decision in this deck. No, oh, I know. I'm just I'm trying to figure out ways to make this thing go through. <laughs> it's terraforming. Nice. Terraform is all you need right Pendulum now. Pendulum Call. Yep. <clears throat> Terraforming. Pendulum yeah. Call seems so bad when you open five, almost. It's fine. I don't honestly. like Pendulum Call. I don't like the Magicians. I think they're all really bad. No, I think, I think Magicians cool. have a lot to them. But I feel like they're almost better second. I just, I think their levels suck. I hate monsters that aren't level four. Well, that's the way You don't hate Bumbuku. I don't. I don't play that anymore. Oh wow. Oh wow. What a lock now? down here. <laughs> this is. Wow. Cards. He has Kieran Sloth. Sloth makes it so Jake cannot summon from the extra deck as long as it's up. <laughs> okay. So it's actually okay. just kind of like. This Jake... is such a lock. Yeah, and there's Kieran too. I don't think there's anything uh, Jake's deck does to this actually. Like he can destroy the scales with the twin twister, but like. All he can do is keep building walls, and I don't think there's an actual answer until he has Regeki if you put it in. Or has it. Regeki is broken against Kieran. It's like so good when you activate it, and then they just leave it there. Yeah, no, I'm talking about the sloth. Yeah, I know, though. I know, I'm being yeah. a dick. One right. thing I never understand with these Magician decks, people are playing the Light Phoenix. It's the wrong level, it's, a, it's another low scale that you don't really need. I just never understood why. Because with this deck, you want sixes. Because Bacar! I guess. Because, like, I get the sloth. I like the sloth, actually. It's something that I've been working and toying with a little bit. Because you can still make, like, bouncer and, like, things like that with it. And being a solid six. Like, you're thinking of it. Oh, well, I was like, I'm yeah, isn't Joker the here. only thing this thing works with? Which one? The, the Phoenix. I guess Iris, but, like, that's about it. I mean. But I'm saying, yeah, you search it with Iris, obviously. But I'm saying it's tribute effect. Is it, I'm sorry I'm missing steps because I'm slow right now. We'll call it slow. For, Got uh... <laughs> oh no. He's gonna negate the sloth. This is smart. Uh, he needs to bounce this. Yeah. Yeah, you just need to bounce, bounce and pendulum summon bounce again. Bounce the sloth. No, you, not the sloth, the you bounce the odd eyes and bounce the... 
the ledge. Yeah, yeah that's sure. what I meant to say. Bounce the bird with the hat. <laughs> the hat bird. The hat bird. Yeah, it really only it really only works with Joker. I mean, I guess if you're if you're playing the Splash Mammoth, you know, it works with that guy too. <laughs> Don't say Splash Mammoth right now. <laughs> Splash Mammoth. Yo, his uh, abductor has three counters. It's mandatory. He yeah. Played alert. Uh, yeah. Can we just play for Tommy at this point? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. Just, just let me log into his DN and just do it. <laughs> I, I messaged him <laughs> to let me do it. <laughs> to, to let you log in. And do it. <laughs> this hurts me to watch. It's all right. It's all right, man. Uh, <laughs> Tommy's just under a lot of pressure facing a YCS champ, man. The current reigning, defending, undisputed YCS champ. I mean, must be. Or he sucks. It could be that. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Tommy's sorry, the sorry, man. Sorry, sorry. I met this man. He is a man's man. He bubbled Providence <laughs> barely. I, I can tell you with almost certainty that there are 1,597 Tommies who are better than him. Tom, no, 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 this Tommy, <laughs> who I thought was Tommy Rowe for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> Williams, look at this man and how he has locked the champ down. There's I mean, a I half guess. gorilla, half dragon thing on the field. I get it, he can summon a floodgate. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's broken. He didn't flip a floodgate, he summoned it. That's how skilled it. this man's is. I get it, he plays a sloth, but like yeah. the rest of his plays are just highly questionable and like he's good at counters. I, I was thinking about a Bambuku here, or would it be better to get Crobat here? I don't know. What's better? I mean, you're gonna have to hear him. Yeah, I don't know what like the Bambuku's getting you. Jake's other oh. out here is like, yeah, Fogblade, obviously. He's already Pendulum Summoned. Has, it, there's an Lich, so like this is really good. I mean, he's still got to deal with the Kieran. Like, it's still not good. The thing is, the Kieran just, like, bodies this deck so hard. And then, like, Sloth on top of it makes so much more pressure. He just bounces Sloth. And he's got, like, one turn to deal with this board. He's, I mean, oh, I I think he's probably dead. Like, I can't think of a way to win without having, like, Tour Guide and the Speed Roid. This is what that Bumbuku summoned for 1,200 damage to the face. Totally oh, okay, I thought Crobat Joker. Joker had 18. I must be stupid. Totally better than Joker. <laughs> and just... <laughs> <laughs> He has backup in case Kieran gets destroyed. I don't know, man. It's Wait, Kieran. What is, what is the extra deck? Kieran says. So there's Tour Guide. You obviously bounce the graph here, right? Oh, and there's a speed play finally from Tommy. So now yeah, the yeah. out is Wait, like. Why didn't he bounce the sloth? Yeah, I don't know why he didn't bounce the sloth. I don't know, man. <laughs> because Tour Guide can ram, and I don't okay, know. Okay, CJ, now's your chance. Message him. <laughs> Can I play for you? <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm going to no, don't, to CJ. Don't distract the duelist. Don't distract the duelist. Alright, fine. If he needs to tag me in, I'm sitting on the ropes right now. Yeah. I'm ready to go. I'm waiting. I want to see that shit. Just give me... Put me in, coach. Put me in. <laughs> Listen, all I want to I... do is make Utopia Lightnings. That's what makes me happy. You don't understand the, the the joy of making vortex bouncer and just looking at like the defeat in the opponent, <laughs> and just you and you they see this this like giant Voltron character and this giant dragon that you made using a mana like it just it's yo a great yo I, Billy Billy's at Anime Expo and they have a uh, exclusive Funko pops and he just got me the metallic Voltron. Yo, you just said a yo. lot of words there that I don't know. I got a metallic Voltron thanks to Billy being at Anime Expo. There you go. All right, cool. <laughs> he still doesn't understand. I, I don't know what that is, but okay. You don't know what Voltron is? No. Five lions come together to form the defender of the universe, Justin Telfon. Oh. I prefer Goku. <laughs> Have you been watching the new se uh, series? No, I, I've like, seen clips. I wait for the... the I knew the speed droid was coming in. And there's Auto the Top. Champ. There's no way the champ doesn't open the speed droid game three. Why do you say okay? Is there a Valor? Is, is Valor what you're... It was pretty strong there, but yeah, you got it. Yeah, you, got that's it. the only card you use it on besides tour guide. And here's Takum Tom. that fog blade. Nice seer. No, nothing oh. to get. And double anti spell. Good. Put that booby trap though. 
<laughs> set that movie trap. Okay, nice mills. Oh, we got table talk. <laughs> oh my god. Hit him with it, Jake. <laughs> oh. He's such a savage. He's like, yo, I got a beet rice and I got anti spell. What's good? <laughs> Mill two, I've got the third. And he just had a he had a real burning abyss too. It wasn't even like a throwaway burning abyss. Oh man. That was so sick. The first time, like, Tommy talks back, he gets wrecked. Yeah. Like his stepchild. It's game three, though. So, like, if he has the out here... What a shame that I missed him. Oh! oh there is dope. an out, but it's going to cost an extra card. This is cool, because now if you open Pendulum cards, he, pe Pendulum Call, he gets to play with two Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I really like ditching extra cards in this um, Magician deck that needs all its resources. Yeah. This is cool. He's like, activates Twin Twister excitedly, doesn't know what to discard. What, why is Jake <laughs> saying, oh? <laughs> oh! What, what, what did you miss, Jake? I'm expecting Jake to say, this is the part where you discard a card. I don't think Tommy... Tommy didn't think this far. He, he was happy he had the out. A That's Kieran? That, I heard uh, Kieran's really good against Burning Abyss. How strong is your hand, or how bad of a play that was? Well, there's a good card. How many bamboo does this guy play? <laughs> Maybe he was ready for BA because it's Jake. That's fair. I guess that's a, I, that's a good way to think about it. With the sloth. Watch him play a monkey deck. board here. <laughs> that would be game. You're real good. Monkey board would be a four scale. It wouldn't matter. Kieran still pops out. This is minus. Kieran, what? <laughs> oh no. You pitched a Kieran. What oh, are you god. doing? Kieran. Oh god. What's happening in this duel? Leave Brittany alone. <laughs> I. There's two. There's a third Kieran coming out, obviously. Oh my, oh, god. my god. Chicken Kieran? Oh Chicken my Kieran. god. That was broken. I just have it all. <laughs> <laughs> Twin Twister, scalable cards, third unicorn, <laughs> Bubuku to bounce back to search more cards. Yeah, I, Corbat Joker would have been better. I don't think he plays another low scale for uh, Bubuku to search think, though. I don't think he plays Corbat Joker at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think that there's just a bunch of Pendulum cards that aren't Performer Pals, and then a Sky Iris. That's where I'm at. So time. he's gonna go ahead. He's gonna pitch. You're gonna destroy that? Oh, stop! What? Stop! Did that just happen? Stop! So Dante, Dante Beatrice is gonna pop off. Here. That was lovely. <laughs> what did I just witness? Uh. This was a punt of all punts. Oh, he had it. <laughs> he's got game, and he's like, nah. Just the stream chat is screaming no. <laughs> They're all screaming no. LOL, I suck. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. I have not seen a punt that massive. You know what was cool? Is that since the only like, time, it's the only time in this entire match that Tom played fast. Since like <laughs> New Orleans could have gone to oh the God. Super Bowl one year and they just punted it away instead. This is this is actually just game. He has tour guide. Yeah, There's yeah. Another. Like he had it and then he just didn't want it. I, guys, mean, I mean, I mean, actually, if okay, he can wait for the tour guide and then use yeah. the Kieran to get rid of whatever tour guide brings out, and how can he exes? There's still a, a, a Dante this, this guy, guy right here. Yeah, he's gonna take 28, but what else? And still have a Dante guy recurring. He, isn't he gonna discard Seer to get Dante back on the field so he can make another Beatrice? Yeah, and then he just pendulums back and doesn't punt again. Yeah, but this is all under the assumption that Jake doesn't have a way to deal with the scales or anything okay yeah true fair fair i have to get an extra draw too yeah at least he's all three extra two draws anyway. right he can get two guys, draws guys remember earlier when when tommy was winning wasn't it cool <laughs> it was cool it, it was like <laughs> the guy who it. like challenges the champion wait farfa and then bring it back right we just want to put a spell in trap for a second i think he's gonna use the effect again can you do that? Well, this is all during Tommy's turn. He can, so he can do it during his turn. Pilgrim's during either oh, turn. 
You can double do it. No, yeah, oh, it wow. That is sick. That was so broken. And well, he's showing why he's the champ. You guys can't see it right now, but I have a little bit of an erection. Whoa. Bro, <laughs> keep it PG-13. Wait, that is PG-13. Now, now we can't put this on YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's the that's the deciding factor. No, this is going up on YouTube. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not the amount of punts we witnessed. That, that play literally just merited YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my I think goodness. Might, I think Tommy might just quit Yu-Gi-Oh after this game. After all this commentary. Wait, did he search for that Skarm? No, he didn't. No, no. He meant to bring back the Dante, but had the Skarm oh, instead. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I got you guys. <laughs> do you want to do it again? <laughs> like... Oh, man. Alright, so like... Even still, like, okay, he... The worst he's taking this turn, should be taking this turn, is like 28-25-1. And he's still going to have Kieran Turkey, Bumbuku in defense. Like, he can still wall up and hope. And and keep that tour guide on board to where it's not going anywhere. Except for like a, a Farfa, I guess. Yeah, never mind. He just mind. has a twin twister and just... His Dante, his Dante can Farfa his own tour guide. Never mind. I'm being stupid. Do you guys know what the best part about Apex Avion is? Hmm. No, I'm asking. Like, I can't figure out why that card's good. <laughs> uh, It was a lot better a few formats ago. That's yeah, about it. Like, it's not a scale, it's not searchable, you just have to draw it in a good hand. It's decent against Monarchs, because you negate the, um, the Stormforth, I guess. Does it negate activation, though? Yeah. Uh, oh. I thought Stormforth says you can only use one Stormforth. No, no it's, it, it's, you, you can use multiples. If it's, like, okay. one's negated, you can use multiple. Yeah, the, the thing with Hope Harbinger is it negates the effect, not the activation. That, that's, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the giant chicken has been like slowly declining in like playability. And it's also just like a giant sack card. Like, I, mean, I guess if you're playing like the build I run with like it locks up a late game. That's about it. And like so many other cards do that for you, like Kieran, anyways. I just yeah. I don't like playing cards in my deck in a pendulum deck that aren't pendulum cards unless they're like making my combo happen. I am surprised that Jake's taking so long now. He's doing a dramatic effect at this point. And there's Tour Guide. And I think Kieran's gonna hit uh, whatever tour guide brings out, and then Jake's probably gonna find a way to farfa his own tour guide, make Beatrice, and go off for game. Well, all, all he has to do is go tour guide to special farfa. True. It's fun commentating a match that you know is over, but you still have to commentate. Oh, the feels, <laughs> man! Like, yeah, that. The... Oh man. Oh, got a farm. I don't think it There's matters. hope. There's hope. And yeah, see, Got him. he does it. And now, is there a Farfa play? Got him. Look at this brokenness. I think he's only taking the 25, 28, and 1. I mean, maybe. We shall see. <laughs> I mean, 25, 25, Can we all 28 acknowledge that Jake drew like five new cards since this Dante thing came on the field. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen a draw turbo like that. I've never seen someone do that move, in all fairness. He, that was he, drew, he drew twice in that turn, then played Allure, and drew for his turn. Like, there's a twin twist. Hand. And he could draw again right now. And get his... Yeah, nope. Yep, he's just taking the 25-28-1. He's been stymed. I don't know why he didn't grab the Farfa, though. He's giving him a chance. He's giving him hope. It's yeah, I, I think he wants to give hope before he takes it away. This will be cool, because now on uh, Tommy's turn, he can negate Beatrice with his bird. Now, again. once he steps, uh, sets these two strikes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot that he also just has traps. <laughs> One strike, two strikes. <laughs> strikes. Okay, let me. I'm going to go with Twin Twister and Strike. Well, he's going to draw the Twin Twister for the turn. Oh... No, I'm saying I think Jake's back rows are Twin Twister and Strike. That's interesting that he sent the Barbar -bar to hand. Yeah, that's definitely... No, no, Jake has game. He's going to send the Barbar, -bar, do the thing, and then on uh, yeah. Thomas, he's going to use Beatrice to foolish the Seer. Oh, okay. Bring back Barbar, -bar, Barbar -bar dies, game over. He's a style point in this one. Yeah, Barbar -bar for game. Barbar -bar for game in three, two, one. Ooh, um... Quick, activate your life harmonizer from your hand. 
Oh man, yeah. and there is GG's the current reigning defending undisputed YCS champ taking it down. Any final words, boys? That was really hard to watch. That hurt me inside. My viewers are gonna love that. Thanks. <laughs> oh man, thanks thanks for having me on. Can we? Um, yeah. All right, I'm going back to real life. See you guys later. Yeah. yeah. See ya. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and also check out the Zodiac Facebook and stream. The links are below. And always feel free to comment and talk about these videos.